Masaya, pagsama-sama! Tonight's headline, Senator Bongo hints on candidacy changes. 100 pilot schools 90% ready for in-person classes. Coronavirus cases in the country at 2,806,694. Secretary Puyat defense move to allow children in malls. Sheer line to bring cloudy skies and rains. And Philippine stocks and peso up. Good evening. Today is Tuesday, November 9, 2021. I am Elmer Navarro Manuel and this is Tribune News on Q. Here are the stories for this evening. Senator Christopher Lawrence Bongo on Tuesday said there might be changes in his political plans for the 2022 national and local elections. The senator stressed that candidacy for vice president might change and noted changes in politics are inevitable as he quoted that politics is dirty. At one point, he mentioned something about a problem in substitution, but he did not elaborate. Senator Go made the remark on the same day Davao City Mayor Sara Duterte Carpio withdrew her certificate of candidacy for re-election in the national elections. Some groups and personalities have been pushing for Sara Duterte to run for president in the next year or in next year's elections. The Department of Education on Tuesday said 100 public schools are 90% prepared for the pilot implementation of the face-to-face -face classes in the country on November 15. DEPED Director Malcolm Garma said some schools are still working on setting up plastic barriers and signages, among others. Of the 100 public schools that were previously announced, Garma said that four have been pulled out in Camarines Sur, Catanduanes, Sambuanga del Sur, and Davao del Sur. According to Garma, they backed out because their local government ref refused to participate and the Department of Health did not approve them. The Department of Health reported 1,409 confirmed coronavirus disease cases on Tuesday to bring the total number of infections in the country to 2,806,694 even as 14 laboratories failed to submit data on time. This brought active cases to 30,544 and of the total, 60.7% are mild, 8% are asymptomatic, 10% are severe, and 4.2% are in critical condition. The number of recoveries, on the other hand, rose to 2,731,583 after 2,941 patients recovered from the deadly disease. The death toll is now at 44,567 with 46 fatalities recorded. Data from the DOH also show that 42% of the country's intensive care unit beds are utilized, while 24% of the mechanical ventilators are in use. Tribune News on Q will be back after these reminders. Botomoto Halalan 2022, the Daily Tribune special coverage. Christmas Aya, Pagsama Sama. Kasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na, Roy Pelevelo, Comfy Manalo, at Tony Lia Badilio Crisostomo, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha, at Jerk Balagtas. Abangan ang programang Gising Na mula alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Inabas na ang mainit na kape at samahan kami sa inyong pag-almusal, mga katribo. Sama-sama natin alamin ang mga natatagong istorya sa mga latest na kaganapan sa loob at labas ng bansa. 
Simulan natin ang bawat umaga with good vibes sa mga informative and recreational segments ng aming programa. Maaaring nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ng inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribune Now sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings mga katribo. Kaya naman, magkita-kita po tayo mula lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga at magsama-sama po tayo sa Gising na! Ayon sa World Bank, tinatayang 4.8 hanggang 12.7 milyong toniladang plastik ang sumisira sa ating karagatan taon-taon. Halos 80% nito ang nanggagaling sa Asia. Sa buong mundo, ang Pilipinas ay itinuturing na pangatlong pinakamalaking nagdudulot ng polusyon sa karagatan. Ang nakalalasong kemikal mula sa plastik ay di lamang kumukontamina sa karagatan, ngunit pati na rin sa hanging nilalanghap at lupang ginagalawan natin. Kung magpapatuloy ang kasalukuyang paggamit ng single-use plastics, sa taong 2050, mas marami na ang plastik kumpara sa mga isda na nasa ating mga karagatan. Dahil dito, mas pinaiigting ng pamahalaan ang kampanya laban sa paggamit ng single-use plastics. Nanganganib bang ating planeta? Iisa lang ito. Lahat tayo ay dapat kumilos sa lalong madaling panahon upang pangalagaan ito. Tama na ang plastikan. Masaya? Pagsama-sama! Botomoto Halalan 2022 The Daily Tribune Special Coverage In other news, Department of Tourism Secretary Bernadette Romulo Puyat on Tuesday defended the move of the Interagency Task Force to allow children inside malls and restaurants with the MP implementation of Alert Level 2 in Metro Manila. In an interview with Daily Tribune's morning online program, Gising Na, Puyat noted that the Tourism Department has been asking the IATF to finally grant minors and the, minors the authority to visit open spaces including tourism spots like Intramuros and Fort Santiago. Medyo mahigpit sila, kaya masaya kami dito sa tourism na um, pumayag sila finally na alert level 2 at pwede na lumabas sa mga bata. Kasi matagal na pinaglalaban ng DOT at especially around Metro Manila na kung pwede nang lumabas yung mga bata. Kasi kawawa naman eh, ang tagal na na nakakulong. Although last year, pinayagan na yung mga bata sa iba't ibang tourist destinations as early as last year, as long as pumayag yung mga LG. Medyo dyan. Puyat added that allowing children inside malls, restaurants, and even hotels will also boost the tourism department's move to promote the country's tourism sector as she noted that the tourism industry was badly hit by the pandemic. She, she also assured that efforts are being done to ensure the full vaccination of all workers in the tourism sector. State Weather Bureau Pagasa announced that the shear line or the tail end of the frontal system will bring cloudy skies with scattered rains over Palawan, Visayas, and Mindanao. In its 24-hour forecast, Pagasa also said the northeast monsoon or Amihan will dampen Batanes and the Babuyan Islands. As for Metro Manila and the rest of the zone, it will experience partly cloudy to cloudy skies with isolated rains brought about by the northeast monsoon. The wind speed forecast for northern Luzon is moderate to strong moving northeastward while coastal waters will be moderate to rough. The rest of Luzon and Visayas will have light to moderate wind speed moving northeast to east while coastal waters will be slight to moderate. And in business, better than expected domestic growth for the ter third quarter this year buoyed both the main equities index, which posted its highest close so far this year, and the peso, which touched the 49 level on Tuesday. 
The Philippine Stock Exchange Index rose by 45.45 points or 0.61% to 7,441.67 at the closing bell. The Brother All shares trailed after it jumped by 20.97 points or 0.46% to 4,531.86. The Hina Capital Development Corporation Head of Sales Luis Limlingan said that Philippine shares were bought up to end at a new year-to-date high. Closing in the 7,500 benchmark as the third quarter gross domestic product came in much better than many had anticipated. Volume totaled 1.31 billion shares, amounting to 9.49 billion pesos. Advancers led decliners at 103 to 87, while 48 shares were unchanged. Meanwhile, the peso strengthened against the US dollar from 50.09 from 50.16 on Monday. That wraps up the stories tonight, and we would like to thank the SM Store, Araneta City, Mary Kay, Department of Tourism, and Overseas Communi Community Affairs Council member Alan Lin of the Republic of China for their continued support. And before we go, it's 46 days before Christmas. Again, this is Elmer Navarro Manuel, and you're watching Tribune News on Q. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay at home. Good night, and God bless us all. Catch the latest news on our website, tribune.net.ph. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Tribune Now. Download the Daily Tribune app on Apple Store for iOS and Google Play for Android to get the latest and most comprehensive news online. Daily Tribune invites you to join its vibrant community, Katribu, to get updates on the hottest news on politics, business, sports, lifestyle, and entertainment. Emoticons of the Tribune mascot, Tarsito, are available on our community Viber. Christmas, yeah? Pagsama-sama!